What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a kind of vlog, lifestyle kind of video of what I typically eat in a day and things that I usually avoid uh, if I have PCOS or with my acne. Uh, foods that I know that flare up those symptoms. So it's going to be a little bit messy. It's going to be a little bit maybe not so great. I've never done a vlog before, but we're gonna see how it goes. So let's go for breakfast. I had two pieces of gluten-free uh, toast with some almond butter and sliced banana on top. So that brings me to point number one. Do not ever, ever have peanut butter if you have acne-prone skin. For some reason, peanut butter is considered a moldy food and it really, really, really breaks out my skin. So I have switched to any other nut butter. So almond butter, hazelnut butter, cashew butter, tahini, whatever you'd like. Just make sure you avoid uh, peanut butter. So I am about to go to the gym about 20 or so minutes. So I'm gonna have a pre-workout shake. So I'm just gonna throw a bunch of stuff in this blender. Second tip is to switch to alternative milk source. So I use almond milk. Uh, I know there's cashew milk out there, oat milk. I do not recommend having soy milk. I find that when I have soy milk as well, that is um, a huge reactor for my skin. I find that when I consume dairy products, specifically milk, it's not really things that contain milk in them, it's just raw milk, that I find my skin really, really breaks out. So all there is in here is almond milk, hemp hearts, matcha green tea powder, and, and maca powder, as I mentioned in my last video, it really helps with hormone control. And I put the hemp hearts because there's protein in there as well as some omega-3, so it's good for your skin. And then I topped it off with my Vega One protein powder. It's a vegan protein powder, but what makes this protein powder really cool is that it has your probiotics for your day, your veggie servings for the day, uh, antioxidants, uh, probiotics, if I didn't say that already, and all that good stuff in it as well. So it's kind of like a multi-purpose protein powder, which I really like. So yeah, I'm just gonna have this now and do some work. Honestly, I'm not that shy of a person, but to like vlog outside while people are watching you is like a little bit intimidating. So I'm on the way to the gym and I thought I would chat to you about basically a recap of things that I believe are not so good if you have PCOS or acne prone skin. So like I said before, number one, no peanut butter. Number two, no dairy, specifically raw dairy. And then number three would be not to have any peanuts. So peanut butter or peanuts in general. I'm gonna work out right now. And then when I go home, I'm going to make a nice proper lunch. Okay, so I just got home from the gym and I stopped at the health food store. And it's really good to find snacks that are alternatives to things that you like but are healthier or somewhat healthy compared to what you would have before. So I um, picked up these. I am obsessed. They're called Smart Sweets and they're literally made out of tapioca and fiber. Um, and that's it, and coconut oil. And so for this whole pack, it's 150 calories, not that I count macros, but no fat, um, but no sugar. But it's also good because it's not like crap sugar. It's also 24 grams of fiber. 
in this and five grams of protein. They're like little gum bears and they're so good. I'm like, but you can get the sour ones or you can get the regular ones and they're like, so like no need to give her have sweets again. And then I picked up um, this chocolate bar that I like, it has maca in it. So like I mentioned from the last video, maca is really good for balancing your hormones. And if it's in a chocolate bar, again, this one's just made with organic cocoa butter, vanilla, and evaporated coconut juice, and dark cocoa, that's it. So something to pick up as well if you want to snack on something sweet. I'm going to make a massive salad. I'm starving. And so let's go do that. So this is the salad I made. Um, nothing too complicated. You have tuna in there for your source of protein, avocado as a source of fat, some tomatoes, baby spinach, um, and I toss it all with balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, and um, a scoop of hummus, which I find is really nice with tuna because it makes it quite creamy. And then I topped it off with black sesame seeds, which help with my hormones. So I just finished my salad and now I'm snacking on some of this maca chocolate and then I really should shower. I really should shower. I'm such a girl. I'm gonna go shower right after. So I'm an awful person and I forgot to record what I was having for dinner, but all I had was stir fried pork using coconut aminos, which are basically, they have like all these different sauces made from coconut uh, extract instead of using things like soy and stuff. So the one we use is like a teriyaki sauce. Um, that with pork and coconut oil and some cut up onions and peppers. So quite simple. Um, this is something that I snacked on as well between <laughs> dinner and uh, when I had that salad and I love this popcorn it's called I think Angie's yeah Angie's popcorn and it's all really quite natural um, yeah the only ingredients are popcorn sunflower oil cane sugar and sea salt because I have like a sweet and salty one and I love this like these are so addictive but I don't feel bad eating them because they are quite good I'm gonna go and have some nice social drinks and that is it. So let me know if you want me to do more of these day in the life of eating, I guess, videos. And I will definitely do more for you. And uh, I'll see you in my next video.